So um, the microbiome is a name that we use to refer to the collection of microorganisms that live inside and on uh, the human body. And over the past decade, we developed uh, fantastic technologies to characterize a component of the microbiome, the species that are part of the community, the gene that they encode, the metabolite that they use and uh, synthesize. Um, but what my lab is trying to ask is how do we take these components in a system level approach? In other words, how do we move from making a list of gene and species and metabolites and getting into a system level understanding of how these components interact with one another in order to produce a behavior and the phenomena that we see. So uh, what we're trying to do is to apply a system biology approach to microbiome research and we're doing this primarily uh, through two lines of work. The first is building models of the microbiome. Um, in order to try to understand how would the microbiome behave in different conditions, how would it interact with the host, how would different species in the microbiome interact with one another, and how it would respond to, for example, changes in diet. Uh, we will then use these models as a way to design microbiome intervention or to design de novo microbiome or, or synthetic microbiome that we can then transfer to a host. Uh, the second line of work is trying to, again, use a model-based approach to analyze microbiome data and specifically to integrate different types of data that we now have about the microbiome. Um, the main goal of this approach is twofold. First, it's to get uh, a mechanistic system level understanding of the microbiome as a complex system. The second is really to understand how can we manipulate the microbiome through diet, through prebiotic, through other elements in a way that would eventually promote health. So I think what's attractive and what's fascinating about the microbiome is that we no longer think of human as this single organism or the crown of the evolutionary process, but rather as an ecosystem. Um, and the nice thing about this ecosystem is that we can change it. We can modulate this, we can change the composition of species, and by doing that, we can ultimately impact our health. And so it is exciting both from a, a basic understanding level, but also from a therapeutic level.